Hey guys, hey internet, come and watch us draw and talk William Shakespeare. So, welcome back to day 11 of 30 days of drawing dead people, aka turning celebrities and historical figures into zombies. Uh, yesterday's drawing was Jimi Hendrix, um, tonight's drawing is William Shakespeare. Um, anyway, enjoy the doodle. So, William Shakespeare was an English playwright, poet, and actor widely regarded as the greatest writer in the English language and the world's greatest dramatist. He is often called England's national poet and the Bard of Avon, or simply the Bard. His extent works include collaborations consisting of some 39 plays, 154 sonnets, and two long narrative poems, and a few other verses, and some uncertain authorship. His plays have been translated into every major living language and are performed more often than those of any other playwright. They also continue to be studied and reinterpreted. Shakespeare was, was born and raised in Stratford-upon-Avon, Warwickshire. At age 18, he married Anne Hathaway, with whom he had three children, Susanna and the twins Hamnet and Judith. Sometime between 1585 and 1592, he, be he began a successful career in London as an actor, writer, and part owner of a playing company called the Lord's Chamberlain's Men, later known as the King's Men. At age 49, around 1613, he appears to have retired to Stratford, where he died three years later. Few records of Shakespeare's private life survive. This stimulated considerable speculation about such matters as his physical appearance, his sexuality, his religious beliefs, and whether the works attributed to him were written by others. Shakespeare produced most of his known works between 1589 and 1613. His early plays were primarily comedies and histories and are regarded as some of the best works produced in these genres. Until about 1608, he wrote mainly tragedies. Among them, Hamlet, Romeo and Juliet, Othello, King Lear, Macbeth, and all considering to be among the finest works in the English language. In the last phase of his life, he wrote tragic comedies, also known as romances, and collaborated with other playwrights. Many of Shakespeare's plays were published in editions of varying quality and accuracy in his lifetime. However, in 1623, two fellow actors and friends of Shakespeare's, John Hemmings and Henry Condell, published a more definitive text known as the First Folio, a posthumous collected edition of Shakespeare's dramatic works that included all but two of his plays. The volume was prefaced with a poem by Ben Jonson, in which Jonson precisely hails Shakespeare in a now famous quote as not of age, but for all time. Shakespeare died on April 23rd, 1616, at the age of 52. He died within a month of signing his will, a document which he begins by describing himself as being in perfect health. No extent contemporary sources explain how or why he died. Half a century later, John Ward, the vicar of Stratford, wrote in his notebook, Shakespeare, Drayden, and Ben Jonson had a merry meeting, and it seems drank too much, for Shakespeare died of a fever there contracted. Not an impossible scenario since Shakespeare knew Johnson and Drayden. Anyway, that's just a little bit about William Shakespeare. I'm pretty sure you can sit there and Google your heart out and find out much more information. I'm kind of curious though, um, if you remember back in high school or in school currently, um, I'm kind of curious, what is your favorite play by William Shakespeare? For me, it's a toss up between Macbeth and Romeo and Juliet. Anyway, that's pretty much it. If, if you enjoyed this doodle, definitely hit the like button down below and subscribe to find out who we end up drawing next in this whole 30 days of drawing dead people, aka turning celebrities and historical figures into zombies anyway that's pretty much it bye whatever it is that you believe you're seeing it's not 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 real seeing things before they happen things are not always what they seem in this place so you can't take anything for granted